Welcome to the latest episode of Today in Sneaks. I am your host, Jacques Slade, and let's kick things off today with the Mellow M10. The M10 features the flight plate technology found in the 28, which should make it one of the top performers on the court this NBA season. Designed by Tinker, the M10 is seen here in a gamma blue upper with black accents and orange highlights. From my perspective, it's a good thing that Jordan Brand's performance side and its design side are starting to really meet head to head, which should make for some really cool products in the upcoming year. Look for the Mellow M10 to release in early 2014 for $165. Adidas Originals has been going hard the last couple of months when it comes to runners, and the latest colorway of the ZX750 is no exception. Dressed in nylon and synthetic nubuck, this Adidas Original offsets its black base with a bright shade of red across the midsole, heel tab, tongue, and piping on the three stripe. Of course, you guys know my love of runners, and you can pick up this pair of Adidas Originals over at Sneaker Politics for $95. The ladies don't often get their just due when it comes to sneakers, but if you leave it up to Nike, they may just be changing that. Seen here is the new Liberty Collection, which features the Air Max 1, Dunk Sky High Sneaker Boot, Nike Roshi Run High Sneaker Boot, and the Air Revolution Sky High. Now, the collection displays the Liberty London Signature Paisley print Borton across the quarter panel, ankle, toe, and either a navy or a black background. For the ladies that are in the US, unfortunately, you're gonna have to wait to grab these because they're only available at Liberty of London right now, but the US will get them later in November. My love for the Converse Chuck Taylor knows no limits, so I figured I should probably show you guys the Clot Times Converse Chuck Taylor first string. A mashup of the East meets West theme, the 70s Chuck Taylor will be available in either blue suede or white canvas with gold, silver, and white accents, as well as premium elements like elevated foxing, added cushioning, a substantial toe box, and a printed dust bag and shoe box. These were released in LA on October 31st for $120 at Juice, as well as Converse first string stores in Hong Kong, Shanghai, Taipei, and Kuala Lumpur on November 2nd. And finally, we have the Air Jordan 5 landing, which got official today. Uh, Jordan Brand tweeted this single image of the shoe. For those that don't know, the Laney is actually the high school that Jordan went to, and so that's where the inspiration for this version of the Air Jordan 5 comes up. Uh, these are Twitter leak only, which means you cannot just go to Nike store and pick them up, which kind of sucks for me because I live here on the West Coast, which means I have to get up at 5 a.m. and try to get lucky. Trying to get lucky on Nike, trying to get lucky. So if you don't want to try and get lucky, you can also try Foot Locker because I know they'll be available there and um, also they'll be available at Nike stores, but you have to win the Twitter RSVP. And before I go today, Kyrie Irving has brought back his character, Uncle Drew. I really love these commercial spots. And actually this time he brought a couple of people along with him. I won't spoil it for you, so make sure you check it out. Here's a little quick clip right here. Uh, this is over on the Pepsi's YouTube channel. So click over here somewhere, click down in the description somewhere and it'll give you a link to the video. So make sure you check that out. Well, if you haven't already, make sure you like, favorite and subscribe. That way you know whenever something awesome is happening here on this channel. And also visit the links in the description. It'll give you the full stories of everything that I talked about today. I am your host, Jacques Slade. This is Today in Sneaks, and I will see you soon. Peace.